Donald Trump Jr. weighed in on this whole sort of refugee issue. I'm not sure if you saw this or not, Senator, I but didn't. he posted um, uh, something basically comparing Syrian refugees and Skittles. Uh, he showed a picture of a bowl of Skittles with the caption, if I had a bowl of Skittles and I told you just three would kill you, would you take a handful? That is our Syrian refugee problem. Meanwhile, Mars, that makes uh, the company that makes Skittles, responded by saying Skittles are candy, refugees are people, basically calling the tweet inappropriate. I'm curious to get your reaction to that. I think it's totally inappropriate and undermines the values that this country was built on. Um, we have a very robust, um, careful um, process where we review people who want to get visas, who want to come into this country. And as um, Mars pointed out, refugees are people. If we look at what has made this country strong, it has been um, refugees we, and immigrants. We are all immigrants in America, unless we're Native American. We all came here from somewhere else um, to try and find a better life. And, um, you know, I was fortunate to grow up here and to have heritage that dates back to before the revolution. My husband's family came from Lebanon, three of his grandparents, and have contributed, have worked hard, have brought their culture and their customs and their food and their music, and it's made America um, a much more vibrant and better place. Having and said, I think that's what Donald Trump and apparently his son don't understand. Having said that, Senator, you know, even James Comey, the FBI director, said, I think about a year ago, that you can't vet every refugee. And I'm curious if you think there are any, in any way, the system could be improved because people obviously are very nervous about, you know, how people are coming into this country. Do you feel completely confident that the system in place is in fact adequate? I, I think there's always room for improvement on everything, and we will continue to assess um, how the system works and try and make improvements wherever we see that we may need to do that. But to suggest that the way we're gonna respond to immigration is to put up walls around this country, to deny the global world that we're living in, just totally misunderstands um, the 21st century. I think anybody who thinks that that's going to be an option for America um, doesn't recognize the world that we're living in today.